There are dozens of athletes who can now call themselves champions after this weekend's Special Olympics, Michigan Poly Hockey and Unified Bowling Finals. And nearly 500 athletes from across the state participated on Friday. The Special Olympics Michigan provides year round sports training and competition to over 23 thousand children and adults with intellectual disabilities. That's right. And some of those amazing athletes are joining us this morning as well as their lovely coach. Thank you all for being here this morning. So talk to us about what happened yesterday. So it was poly hockey and unified bowling yesterday. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. What was that like? It was, it was fun. It, 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 it was brilliant sport. It, it felt yeah. so fun having uh, playing the poly hockey again because it's been like a while for us to play it. And the best part about doing sports like poly hockey is that we get to meet new people sure. all around the area of Michigan and then we become friends and then we show sportsmanship to all, all around us because our national is is uh, if we cannot win, that means we be brave at the attempt. Oh, wow. Mm. I love that. I mean, you did walk away with a medal, though. I'm seeing some mm. medals here. How'd you guys do? Yeah. Uh, we, we took, we took wow. the silver because uh, I guess yesterday I the first game I shot four goals in a row. Four in a row. Hey. Yeah, because yep. uh, Scott here he, he assists the mm -hmm. puck to me. Yep, just because uh, he knows. Yep. You guys know how to score goals. Uh -huh. What's it like been? What's it been like for you competing? It was I was a goalie for my team. Oh, wow. nice. Yeah. How many did you stop? A bunch. A bunch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, mom, you are also coach as well. This is your son. Yes. What yes. is it like for you as a coach and a mom watching him go through the program? It's very, it's it's very, very rewarding, very humbling. Um, I, I'm, I'll start crying, but Aww. it is. These athletes are, are just truly, truly amazing. If given the opportunity to do the sports they love, they can do it. I think that's and, key though, we given were, the opportunity. Absolutely, we were just talking too before you know, we talked to you guys here, this was the first poly hockey since COVID. Yeah. What was it like to be back out there with your teammates again and with other teams? It was amazing. It was, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Did you see all these faces? Yeah, it was fantastic, a brilliant sport. You said brilliant. So, so wh why do you think it's brilliant? What do you love about it? Because uh, uh, pond hockey is what I like. Because uh, uh, when I hold the puck, I, I shot as many goals as I can. Uh huh. And we uh, take a hockey stick and use a good new technique. Well, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. You're developing new, some new skills. Yes, out for there. us, it's like a challenge, like to improve ourselves. Even win or lose, we always want to make ourselves feel that we can improve our own skills in many kind of ways. Mm. What do you think a competition like this on this scale, you know, with thousands coming from across the state, what do you think it means uh, for athletes and for their families means, and for yourselves? Uh, for me, it makes me feel like like our community is connecting to each other. Like oh. instead of like being separate, we're all connecting in different kinds of ways. Like we're meeting new friends, meeting new experience. Sure. And having so much fun with different kind of everyone. You are just beaming. <laughs> <laughs> you love it, don't you? It was fun. What is your favorite part about competing? Uh, get to see all the faces and see different teams compete for what they need. And, and after the last couple of years we've had, yeah. I'm sure yeah. it's been even better. I would say one of the things I think is most amazing here, you guys, is really that most Olympians only specialize in one yeah. sport. But we asked you earlier which sports you were all involved in, yeah. and I'm not sure we'd have enough time in the rest of the show <laughs> to hear it. A long list for all of you. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, how many sports do you, do you play? Uh, about like six or seven sports. Six or seven. Nonchalant. I do nine. Yep. Nine. <laughs> nine. Maybe nine. Yeah, I play five. It's it's just so great. So when do you guys compete in all of those? Are those different times during the year? Yeah. Or all yes. those yesterday. Our next up is basketball and winter games. Oh, Got okay. It. And when is that? We uh, start basketball a couple weeks. Great. Oh. So, yep. so it's nonstop. It's nonstop. We also want to talk just a little bit here before we let you go about the My Cookie yeah. Project. Yeah. So how does that all work, you guys? We're a special needs bakery for intellectual adults with disabilities. We measure, we prep, we bake, we bag, we sell them out in community and places. So this is all done right here? And yeah, we're in Melvindale. Oh wow. Me, me and Nico. Yeah. All, all the little bakers that you go there and they, they sign in and, and um, mix as many cookies and cheesecakes in it as they can. How do you prevent yourself from just sampling, <laughs> yeah. right? They're Olympians. they got to stay yeah, in exactly, shape. Exactly, exactly. Yep. You guys are the athletes. You and I. Yeah, we, we can, can eat all the cheesecake. <laughs> I just said that my way. Scott, Katie, Nick, and Brenda, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you thank for, you having, for having, having us. Yes. And Absolutely. And congratulations thank again. You. So many thank you. big thank you. wins. That's right. Uh, and if you want to get involved as an athlete or volunteer, uh, there's plenty of ways to do that. Of course, the competition just happened. We've got that information on clickondetroit.com. We'll be right back.